Hello and welcome to the first lesson of the AGR SketchUp course. In today's lesson, we're going to get to know the interface of SketchUp. So when you first install SketchUp, you will see an icon over here on your desktop. We open SketchUp. When you open SketchUp, a welcome screen will appear. There are two sections, Files and Learn. We're going to deal with the file section. So in the file section, we have two parts. First part is the templates that we can choose from. The second part is the recent files. And below that recent files, we have some recovered files. So when you first launch SketchUp, you will not see these recovered files. There are a lot of templates you can choose from. At first glance, you will see that we have only these templates. This white or plan view is not visible in this templates shown here. So you will need to click on more templates. And now you have access to all the templates that's available inside of SketchUp. I chose the plan view by meters. So you could choose feet or inches or millimeters or centimeters according to your need. So I will click on plan view meters. There is also a circle below each template and there is a heart inside. If you click on that heart, this will set that template as your default template and it will be shown the first template over here on the left side. So I will click on this template This will open the SketchUp window for me. The SketchUp is divided into seven sections. The first part is the modeling part where you can draw and model your objects. The second part is the toolbars that we have up here. You can click on this dotted lines to the left of the toolbar and drag the toolbar down and you can see you can uh, undock this toolbar and then dock it again to the left or to the right or in the upper section like this. Or you could click on this X icon and this will close the toolbar. And you can get it back again by going to view toolbars and then clicking on getting started. This will show the toolbar again. There is also another way to bring in toolbars, which is to click, right click on this grayish part over here, and then click on whichever toolbar you want. The third section of SketchUp, the third part of SketchUp, are the menus over here at the top. We have file, edit, view, camera, and all the others. The fourth part of SketchUp is the trays that we have over here. There are a lot of trays that we will cover in later sessions. The fifth part of SketchUp is the VCB, which stands for Value Control Box, where you can type in values. The sixth part of SketchUp is the Instruction Pane, where if I activate the command, you can see that it starts to give us some instructions for that command. The seventh part of SketchUp is located down to the left, which you have credits and geolocation. You can assign credits for the model that you have, or you could place your object in a specific geolocation. This concludes the first lesson of the AGR SketchUp course. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye.